Thorn Rose Cemetery here in Stanton, Virginia. This cemetery is one of the oldest cemeteries in the county, and it's also said to be one of the most haunted. Now, the cemetery dates back to roughly the 1840s, and it has a lot of claims, mainly in this general area of shadow people, phantom footsteps, voices, and the feeling of being watched, which, you know, you're in a cemetery, I think the feeling of being watched kind of goes along with that. So I'm here today to investigate the Thornrow Cemetery to see whether or not it really is haunted. Your spirits dwell. Now this cemetery has a lot of well-known people from the county's history buried here in the cemetery. And after doing some family research, I've also discovered I have a lot of ancestors here. So hopefully one of them will make contact with us. I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so this could be the very first spirit box session here at the Thorn Rose Cemetery. Gone. Hopefully it's an active one. All right, hello, is there no one here with me today? My name's Jay, and I've been to this cemetery many times. I've only, I haven't investigated it in many years. Does anyone here remember me? I've had people tell me that this cemetery is haunted. Is that true? This is one of those cemeteries to where you think you see something out of the corner you, of your eye like every few seconds, but you don't. Paranoia is setting in. Well, I'm going to move to another part of the cemetery. Thank you if you tried to communicate. And we'll try another session here in a little bit. Alright, so the first session was a little dead, pun intended. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to move to a different part of the cemetery. And typically it'll take the spirits about 5 to 10 minutes on average to get used to you and your energy. So that's probably why that session was very quiet. But this cemetery, I've talked to people that have done spirit box sessions up here and they've gotten some good responses. Um, when I investigated it years ago, I had my voice recorder with me and I didn't really get any EVPs. I didn't have the spirit box at that point. So, you know, if even if there aren't any spirit box clips, we might be getting some great EVPs. So, gotta remain optimistic. You know, one of the cool things about being in a cemetery as historical as this one is you're walking among almost 200 years of history. I mean, there were people that were here long before the Civil War even began. You know, the cemetery, there's a plaque over here that says 1849 when it was established, which I'm sure there were a few graves before 1849 here. But you think that's 11, actually about 12 years before the Civil War began. And it's just really cool because you can soak up all that history, you soak up that energy. And us as paranormal investigators, we hope that some of that energy, if it doesn't turn into intelligent spirit communication, that it could be residual. You know, you might pick up over the spirit box, you know, a sound of something that happened long ago that for some reason left an imprint on this land or you may be getting you know, some intelligent conversation, some information about a spirit's life. You never know when you're out here investigating, but you know, this is something to think about if you're out investigating, whether it's a cemetery, your home, or really anywhere, and you're not getting anything, just soak up the atmosphere, soak up the history of the land, the stories, and that might help the spirits be more attracted to you know, wanting to communicate with you. Okay, so the final spirit box session we're gonna do is actually at a very important spot here in the cemetery. Behind me is a memorial to over 870 Confederate soldiers that are buried in the cemetery, many in this little flat area here in a mass burial ground. So hopefully 
we'll be able to make contact with them because from what I've heard, this is the most active part of the cemetery. Fingers crossed. All right, hello, is there anyone here with me today? My name's Jake and I'm here where the Civil War soldiers are buried. I heard a male voice. Are there any soldiers here today? Radio. Are there any soldiers from Virginia here? Yep. Are you from Augusta County? Sound like radio. Did you die in battle? Did you die from disease? No? It sounded like it either said no or home. Do you want to go home? What state is your home in? Who is your commanding officer? I heard a voice. I almost, I don't know what it said, but that was really cool. Did you fight with General Stonewall Jackson? Did you fight with General Robert E. Lee? Did you fight with General A.P. Hill? Sound the same voice said no. Did you fight with General Heth? Were there any skirmishes? Yeah. Yep, you did? <laughs> did you fight in the Battle of Waynesboro? The Battle of Waynesboro, fun little historical fact, is the biggest battle in the area aside from the Battle of Newmarket. And it was the battle the Confederates lost to General, I believe it was David Hunter, and he was the one who finally took control of the Shenandoah Valley. Fun fact, George Custer was actually there. Does that information sound accurate to you? It sounded like said a day long or a day off or a day or off. I couldn't tell, something off. Were there any skirmishes or fighting in and around Stanton? I can tell what it said. Did you get here through the railroad, through the train depot? Do you have a message for anyone?
What are your thoughts on how the war went? Were you proud to fight in the war? No? Were you forced to fight? Or did you volunteer? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Thank you to everyone who communicated with us and who attempted to, to communicate. Can you say goodbye? Okay, goodbye. Have a good night. That was cool. We had some really good responses there. I think we had at least two or three soldiers come through. We had one when I asked who your commanding officer was. I heard it say something. I don't know exactly what the voice said. I'll have to go back and clean it up. But thank you all for watching this video. And this cemetery might not have been as active as some of the other cemeteries or locations I've investigated. But to have a chance to communicate with all the well-known and historical people and the soldiers that are buried in the cemetery, it makes the trip worth it even if nothing were to happen. I hope you all have enjoyed episode two of the Our Legends series so far. We will hopefully have season, actually not season, <laughs> episode three out here soon. If you have a suggestion for any locations in the Augusta County area or maybe Rockingham, you know, message the page, comment below. We would love to hear it. And from Fight Paranormal, I'm Jake. Have a great day, everyone.